Hi YouTube, this is JJ714 coming at you. I am um, actually getting ready to do my hair. <laughs> it's um, Saturday evening, about almost 10 o'clock actually. And uh, my daughter and husband just stepped out to get us a snack for the evening. And um, I just finished doing my daughter's hair. And now I'm trying to work on mine. And um, the purpose of this video really is, um, remember how I said in my last video that I was not going to do any challenges? Well, I'm actually in three challenges. <laughs> and um, they both were... Two of them started yesterday. Um, Hairless uh, Sunshine, she is um, doing the castor oil part six. And uh, you can use any castor oil. Um, I will be using Jamaican black castor oil. And she also has another one called Strong Roots. And it's um, using red pimento um, oil. And... Um, if you go on Hair Lista, um, and it's Hair Lista, it's Hair, L-I-S-T-A, dot com, um, you will be able to, um, it will direct you into, uh, if you don't have a Hair Lista account, you can sign up, and then find those two um, challenges. The third challenge, which is also a Hair Lista challenge, um, I probably won't actually start that until next week, because I've already ordered my products and I'm just waiting for them to come in but it's uh, sh uh, sh sh Shy Naturals or Shea Naturals S-H-I dot Naturals and um, basically it's um, homemade natural products that you can use and you can use it whether you're natural or if you're um, um, you know you have relax or tax lax but um, I just ordered um, the products and the reason I got interested in that I was invited for one but two I've been looking for products that are pH balanced and most of her products or all of her products are pH balanced um, my goal is uh, I did a sampler uh, which has everything in it and then she has a, a growth oil that I want to try because apparently um, quite a few of the ladies who have been using it for a while have seen some good results with it um, but again again my purpose is um, for trying these products is because I am interested in getting pH balanced products um, and they are pH balanced I believe 4.5 to 5.5 so it's in my hair range in my daughter's hair range but um, what I'm doing is I'm doing this video to uh, enter into the um, contest. Uh, Sunshine, she has uh, prizes for, uh, it'll be three different areas, um, which is the, in, the basic or, and then you have the intermediate level, or the beginner, I shouldn't say basic, but the beginner, and then the advanced. So, um, I don't have my um, measuring tape with me. Uh, I tell you, it's been an interesting week, and this is on my left side. As you can see, my hair. I'm standing up, and it's down past. Wow, it actually grew longer than I thought it did. It's um, past my neck um, or past my chin is about right here um, so that's that side and now I'm going to take a piece from the front and it's um, I don't know if you can see it but it's actually right past Let's see if I can do it this way. It's here. Um, and this is on my my left side. My right side happens to be longer than my left side. Um, 
but my right side is catching up. Um, my edges are still sort of rough. Now this is my right side. It's a little shorter than the left. It's just um, beneath, just a little bit beneath my jawbone. And then I'll take the top. And it's actually about the same as the other one. You can't tell. Like I said, I get a lot of shrinkage, so even with my hair, like, it appears like it hasn't grown. But um, what I'm going to do is uh, put my hair in some twists. I had them in plaits last night, but I'm going to put them in twists. Um, throughout the challenge, I will be wearing um, probably wigs. I, I might get my hair braided again. I'm, I'm not sure. Only reason I won't get it done is because they're not lasting as long as I would like them to. And to sit for about nine hours when I let one person do it is more, it's too much time. But um, this weekend, well, last week, um, I was in class on Monday and my um one. Hey, sweetie. Huh? Yeah. That was gross. Okay, wherever y'all want to get, it's fine with me. Okay, love you. Love you too. Sorry about that. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, we came home. When my husband came home Monday, I went to class, and um, apparently our air was out. So we went Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday with that. <laughs> and so we had the repair person come out. They were supposed to have repaired it on Thursday. We had um, air Thursday evening, and when we got home last night, the air was out. <laughs> So, um, three day weekend, um, the compressor is out, the earliest that they can order a part will be Tuesday. So we're in a hotel, um, at least for the next two days, um, it's supposed to rain here in Georgia, so hopefully with the rain it will cause it to cool down. We're going to have rain um, starting tomorrow evening, Sunday evening through um, I think all, most of all next week, I know it's going to rain Monday, to Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, so we'll have to see and play it by ear, um, but it was really, really hot last night, and um, I have started walking again, by the way, so I'm going to start picking up, doing some more videos um, when I can um, on my weight loss channel, which is Slim Down Now Before 50. Um, so I'm, I might try to do a video um, maybe tomorrow for that. But um, I'm basically just going to, um, like I said, be twisting my hair. Um, I actually last night I um, uh, co-washed my hair with uh, the Herbal Essence Hello Hydration. This is one of my favorite turnips. Hello Hydration. And uh, I co-washed my daughter's hair with this too. So I will be doing the Real Queens Regiment as well. I'll probably be doing that more on the weekends, the Real Queens, because I have to get up so early in the morning and with classes on Monday, it doesn't um, leave me a whole lot of time really during the week to do my hair. Um, my goal is to start at the uh, advanced level, maybe, which is uh, for both of the um, oil, the, the castor oil challenge and the strong roots. Um, I'm going to start at the advanced level. How I plan to use the red, um, the uh, strong roots or the red pimento oil is I'm going to use that as like a pre, um, pre
pre-wash or pre-condition for my hair where I will either put it in my hair overnight or I'll put it in for maybe about, um, I think the most you're supposed to in is like 20 minutes. The one said that if you leave longer, it tends to cause your scalp to itch and I don't want that to happen. <laughs> So I'll probably be putting it in, um, you're supposed to put it on your scalp, and um, if you're going to do immediate or band, you put it on your scalp and also on your hair, and then you cover your hair with the plastic, uh, um, I don't think you require to do that, so I have to back and look at the um, challenge requirements again, but you do have to oil your scalp, oil your hair lightly and put the cap on and let it stay on for about 20-25 to 25 minutes. And then you can, you know, your wash, whether it's cold or uh, your normal wash. And for the advanced level, you have to do it at least three times a week. For the um, intermediate level, you have to do it twice a week. And for the beginners, you do it a week. Um, I plan to do it once a week because my goal is to co-wash at least a couple a week and um, I'm going to wash once every other week. So I might even with the rules they require you to only wash shampoo your hair um, which is my goal is to do that but depending on how um, my hair sweats, exercise, and so forth, I will more than likely be um, uh, at least coaching a couple of weeks and then probably washing my scalp. I'm going to try to go every other week, but if I have to, I'll wash more. Uh, however, I was really surprised that I was able, before I got my braids done, I was able to go a whole month without shampoo on my hair, co-wash, and my hair actually seems to like, uh, I think I'm going to co-wash more, including my daughter's hair, because her hair is doing great. But now, I'm going to end this vi this video, and maybe I'll come back after I've been talking a little bit more. Thank you. Bye-bye.